Hello, this is Michael McCarthy here. In this video, we're going to take a look at using ground strands with Ornatrix and 3ds Max. Now, you may want to ground your strands if, for instance, you have a set of splines that you want to change into guides and then uh, make them into hair. Or there may be different things that you would do in the stack where you need to edit your guides and uh, you need to ground them afterwards. We're going to look at the simplest option here just so we can take a look at the modifier. So in this case I have some splines uh, that I want to use as guides and I have a mesh that I want to associate them with. So I'm going to take uh, these splines and I'm going to go and say I want to use the OX guides from shape and I can set the number of points to whatever number it is that I want here. And then I'm going to go and use my OX ground strands. Now before I do that I'll show you what you may get if you don't use this. So I might go in and go and grab uh, hair from guides and we have guides and we want hair from guides but you can see there is no hair generated here and that's because these guides have not been associated with this mesh in any way that's where ground strands comes in so if I just go in and choose OX ground strands I have two important options in here the first one is going to be my base surface and the second one is whether the strands are actually grounded or not so if I click on none I can go and pick that base surface and now those strands are associated with that mesh. The last thing I need to do is click this roots detached button so that it's not depressed and active anymore so the roots are actually grounded to the surface. We can see that if this is not there then I won't get any hair from guides. I'll just add in my OX hair from guides again. But once I press this button and go up to hair from guides you can see that that hair is generated because now the hairs are grounded. I can turn on use sub-object selection if I want here. You may be asking yourself, well, why, why don't do this automatically? And actually, this used to happen automatically, but we found that this is a really useful feature for a lot of different reasons. One reason might be that you want to change your mesh. So let me just click on Roots Detached and go in and change this mesh slightly. So I'm going to select the mesh. I'll turn on Edge Faces and just go into edit sub object edges and I'm just going to make a connection here so I've changed the underlying topology of the mesh and because I detached these guides beforehand if I hop out of sub object mode and select these I can go into ground strands and say okay press to attach the roots again and everything is happy go lucky okay if we hadn't done that we would get something that looks like this uh, if I now go to the mesh, let me just get rid of hair from guides and I'll go and select the mesh and let me just go in and grab a couple of edge rings and let's connect those. You can see that because the hairs were grounded, they're grounded to specific faces and that messes the whole topology up and of course messes our hair up uh, quite literally. So we really don't want that. Uh, you can, after the fact, go in and detach your roots and attach them back if you wish. Um, and that can work very well too. But usually I'll, if I know that I'm making some topological change, I'll go in and detach those roots first. So that's a little bit about how you can use ground strands, the options in there, and why you might use it. Hopefully that helps you in your grooming with Ornatrix in 3ds Max. Thank you very much.